So I am not an artist by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but what I do have is a number two pencil and a dream. So what I've done here is just sort of roughly sketched out a small mammal. <laughs> and if you can figure out what I'm trying to make, then you're, you're pretty damn good. So what I've got, this is just a piece of cardstock. And I've gone, uh, you know, just tried to draw. So what I have here is a roll of obnoxious blue resin tape. You guys know that I have a love-hate relationship with this stuff. So what I want to do is I'm going to, and it's not quite wide enough to uh, do what I want, so I'm going to just put the obnoxious blue tape in two different pieces over my artistic interpretation of small mammals. And then, there we go. So, see? Lovely. Now, what I have here is some gallery glass black simulated liquid leading. And what this is, is this is done for, uh, or used for, um, like uh, faux stained glass and whatnot. It takes about 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes to cure. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around and make a uh, an outline of this. And I decided to use this stuff instead of my UV resin because it stays put better. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my UV resin, you guys know that. But this stuff is good for outlining. I'm going to let this uh, cure itself up, and I will see you guys back for next step. See you soon. Okay, so this has had time to uh, dry up a little bit, cure up. <coughs> um, excuse me. So what I have here are two different colors of UV resin. I have my caramel and my orange. So I'm going to be using those. And also. I'm going to be digging into my bag of sparkly shit, which is a bunch of glitter and other sparkly things. And I'm going to be, I think, using some of my uh, Autumn Leaves Holographic and That's it for now. Yeah, I might change my mind. We'll see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a thin layer of my caramel. Not going to totally fill up with the caramel. I'm now going to go in with some orange. I'm just going to sort of make little swirly designs and whatnot.
little bit of sparkly stuff. Cure that. For about a minute or so. Oops, knocking stuff over. I'm using all I love to. So I'm gonna cure this for about a minute. And I'll see you back when it's done. Okay. So it's had about a minute under the uh, UV microwave. What I call my lamp. So I'm going to go back in with some more orange. Spooky weenie dog. <laughs> and then I'm also going to add some clear. And of course, links for everything that I'm using is down in the description box, with the exception of the colored UV resin, which I tend to make myself. Um, but I do have several videos on how to uh, make your own UV resin of the color variety in my uh, resin projects playlist, so please feel free to peruse that at your leisure. Along with, uh, you know, chameleon UV resins and stuff like that. I just tend to make my own because I never can find the colors that I want. Alright, so there's that. There. And then one more sprinkle. Okay, two more sprinkles. <laughs> two, two, two more sprinkles of glitter. Give them another nuke on this side, and then we'll flip them over and give them another one on the other side. See you soon. Okay, so I've popped off the uh, Halloweeny dog from the paper, from the uh, blue tape, and I've put it on one of my little acrylic uh, mirror pieces that I got from BB Craft. Hello, you see camera up there. And uh, we're just going to give this another cure on the back side. And I will see you when it's done. See you soon. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to go over it with just a layer of clear over the back. You're probably wondering, well, why did you cure it if you were just going to add another layer of clear? Well, because it just makes things easier on me. I like to show you guys how I do stuff. Okay. So I'm going to take the mirror away here. Oop. buns a bit of a trim. So there we have him. One slightly weird yet 
unusually cool. Now we need to go. Hang on. There he is. <laughs> Our silly little javelina dog. Precision by no means, but a fun, silly little project that, uh, you know, something silly to do. So anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.